This video will explain some of the basic number bank functionality. The first thing to point out is that you'll only see the number bank in MyGS1 if you have the appropriate permissions. So you'll need to be set up either with the admin or product roles, either by a MyGS1 admin from your own company or by the GS1 UK support team. When you first look at the number bank section, you'll notice there's not much in there. That's because you need to choose which bank of numbers you'd like to see. In the number type drop-down menu, you can choose between different GS1 numbers you're able to create. For the majority of our members, this is going to be GTN 13s to identify their products. If for any reason you're not sure what you should be selecting, please contact the support team. In the company prefix drop-down, you'll see a list of all the prefixes from which you can create your chosen number type. For lots of companies, particularly our newer members, there may only be one prefix available. If you have several prefixes, make sure you select the right one. Once loaded, you'll see some buttons which will help you navigate the number bank and you'll also see your list of numbers. Each of your product lines requires a new GTIN. We recommend that you work your way through your numbers sequentially, allocating the next GTIN in your list to each new product you need to identify. There's a separate video which explains how to use the bulk upload functionality, useful if you have lots of products to add. To add individual products, simply click on the GTIN itself. You'll then see a pop-out menu in which you can populate essential information about your product. A couple of tips here. Think of the product name as a description of that thing that enables a customer to know exactly what they're about to buy. Imagine it as the product title that could be used on a shelf edge label in store or on an Amazon listing. In the description field, you can enter information you'd have on a website to help you promote the item. Think about what a customer would want to read to help them decide or persuade them to buy your item. The rest of the attributes are self-explanatory. What you're aiming for is to complete all the fields so that you have a green complete status for each one of your product lines. If you're stuck as to what's required, throughout the number bank you'll see the blue question marks which will provide you with some helpful information. The use next number button will take you to the next unused number in your list, whereas the last used number is also pretty self-explanatory. If you're approaching the end of your numbers, you can use the License More Numbers feature to apply and be assigned for a new batch of numbers. For additional number bank support, please check out the other videos.